Hey everybody. Today we're dealing with type 2 improper integrals, the sort where you've got a vertical asymptote or other discontinuity at one of the endpoints. Like in this example, find the area under the graph of y equals x to the negative 1 half between x equals 0 and x equals 4. Here's the picture. You can see the problem right away. At x equals 0, we've got a vertical asymptote. It's not clear whether that shaded area is even going to be finite. Even worse, we can't use a um, second fundamental theorem of calculus to compute that area because of that vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So we're going to have to cope with that somehow. Um, first of all, let's have a basic definition. An integral from a to b, f of x dx, is called improper of type 2 if you have a discontinuity at one of the endpoints, but the integrand is continuous everywhere else. As in the example we're working on right now. The idea is simple. Replace the bad endpoint with a nearby value L so that you miss the discontinuity, so that the vertical asymptote is not part of the um, interval you're integrating over. And then take a limit. So in the problem we're working on right now, where we have y equals 1 over the square root of x from 0 to 4, we're instead going to do a definite integral from L to 4, where we're picturing L being just a little bit bigger than 0. That's an integral we can do. It's just a definite integral over a well-behaved region then we're going to take a limit. We're going to let L go towards 0, of course from the right, because we always want to avoid that discontinuity. We always want L to be greater than 0. So let's actually do it. We do that integral from L to 4, 1 over the square root of x dx, just using the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Antiderivative, plug in the endpoints, and then evaluate the limit. Let L go to 0 from the right. Of course that square root of L is also going to 0 then. And so we're just left with 2 root 4, also known as 4. When an improper integral ends up having a finite value, we say that the integral converges to that value. If it doesn't, we're going to say the improper integral diverges. Let's do another example. Integral from 0 to 1, natural log of 1 minus x over 1 minus x dx. This is also an improper integral. This time the problem is at x equals 1. When x is 1, the natural log of 1 minus x is going to be the natural log of 0, which isn't defined. Um, in the picture, you can see that vertical asymptote at x equals 1. So we're going to want to do this with a limit. We let l be slightly less than 1, and we integrate from 0 to l instead of 0 to 1. Same integrand. And then once we're done with that integral, we're going to apply this limit, letting l go towards 1, this time from the left. We always pick the direction of the one-sided limit here so that we're avoiding the vertical asymptote or other discontinuity. Now we just need to compute. Let's do it. Um, to integrate natural log of 1 minus x over 1 minus x, we need to use substitution. u equal the natural log of 1 minus x is natural here because the derivative of the natural log of 1 minus x is a factor in the integrand, the 1 over 1 minus x, at least up to a constant multiple. Let's see the details. du dx is negative 1 over 1 minus x, the negative 1 coming from the chain rule, the derivative of 1 minus x. So solving for dx, we get dx is negative quantity 1 minus x du. And then we can go back up to that integral on the top right and substitute in. Take out the natural log, replace it with u. Take out the dx and replace it with negative quantity 1 minus x du. Here I've also factored that negative sign all the way outside the limit. Right away, you see why this is going to work. The 1 minus x is cancel, and I'm just integrating u to get 1 half u squared. I want to plug in x equals 0 and x equals l, but again, those are not u values, those are x values, so I need to take out u and put in the natural log first. Now I'm ready to substitute. So I'm going to take l, plug it in, take 0, plug it in, and subtract the 2. Now I'm ready to evaluate the limit. Hey, by the way, notice that the natural log of 1 is 0, so that term is just going to completely go away. When I evaluate the limit, L going to 1 from the left, I'm still getting a natural log of 0, which is of course going to be negative infinity. So overall, I'm going to get negative infinity when I square that natural log and then have the negative sign out front of the limit. So this is going to be a definite, or rather improper, integral that diverges. Looking back at the picture, 
What this is meaning is that the area between the x-axis and this graph between 0 and 1 is not finite.